Question 33 is asking us to use Kurtowski's theorem to show that a number of graphs are not clear. So let's revise what Kurtowski's theorem tells us. It tells us that the graph is planar if and only if it does not have a subgraph which is homeomorphic to one of these two, k5 or k33. Now we know what k5 and k33 looks like, so let's think about the other two components of the theorem. So what does it mean to be a subgraph? Or how can we construct a subgraph? Well, we're allowed to do two things. The first thing we're allowed to do is we're allowed to remove edges. Okay, we can remove uh, any edges we like. Okay. Now, we're also allowed to remove vertices, but when we remove a vertex, okay, we have to remove all of the edges that are instant on that vertex. Okay. We can remove vertices and all the edges incident on those vertices. Okay. So that's how we can construct a subgraph. Okay. What does it mean to be homeomorphic? Well, two graphs are homeomorphic if they only differ by edges of vertices of degree 2. Okay. So we're allowed, what we're allowed to do is we're allowed to remove or add back in vertices that are of degree 2. Okay. So in this case, we can remove vertices of degree 2. You may recall that the process of adding a vertex of degree 2 is called elementary subdivision. For example, if I've got a graph where I've got some stuff here, and I've got a vertex here, an edge, a vertex, an edge, vertex, and some more stuff, well, that's a vertex of degree 2, so I can remove that. Okay, just remove that vertex and join up the line. So now that we understand what Kurtowski's theorem is telling us, let's have a look at an example. Part A is asking us to prove that this graph here is not plain. Okay. And before we write out our proof, I want to think of how this proof might pan out. So I'm going to do a bit of rough working. Okay. So when we want to use Kurtowski's theorem to prove that a graph isn't plain, the first question we need to ask ourselves is, is it going to end up being a K5 or a K33? So, is it going to be K5 or K33? Okay. So, let's consider the properties of K5 and K33. K5 is the complete graph on five vertices, so each vertex has degree 4. And K33 is the complete bipartite graph on three vertices on one side and three vertices on the other. So all the vertices have degree 3. Okay. And let's compare that with the properties of the graph that we're working with. So this graph here has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 vertices. And um, interestingly, all of the vertices have degree 3. So all have Three. Okay. So we need to get from that graph to either K5 or K33. And we can only get to them by removing things, right? We can remove edges and we can remove vertices, but we can't any add anything back. So if the maximum degree of this graph is 3, then we couldn't possibly get to K5 because then we would need vertices of degree 4, and we can't possibly get from a vertex of degree 3 to a vertex of degree 4 without adding anything. Okay. So now we know that we're going to end up with a K33. So now that we know what our target is, the next step is to figure out what do we need to lose, what do we need to remove. So how many vertices do we need to remove? Okay. The, the graph currently has 8 vertices, the target, the K33, has 6, so we need to remove 2. Okay. So now we can try and figure out how we might possibly remove these two vertices. Okay. So let's try something out here. So um, let me just try to remove an entire vertex. So let's say that one. Okay. If I remove that vertex, then I've got to remove the three edges instant on that vertex. So this edge, 
this edge and this on one. And let's have a look at what we've got left. So we've got left seven vertices. We only removed one of them. Um, one, two, three, four of them have degree three. Um, and three of them have degree two. So we've only got four vertices left of degree two, a uh, three. We've lost too many vertices of degree three. So removing an entire vertex is probably not the way to go. So I'm going to reset the graph. Okay, let's start again. So we know we're not removing an entire vertex, just like that. So the only other way to remove vertices is via homomorphism, which means we need vertices of degree two. But the only way we're going to get a vertex of degree two is by removing edges. So let's just remove an edge. Let's say I'm going to remove this edge. Okay, and what are we left? We're left with um, one, two, three, four, five, six vertices of degree three. And that's perfect. That's exactly what we need. And two vertices of degree two, which we can remove. So let's just remove those by homomorphism. And we're now left with six vertices of degree three. Now let's just use the standard trick to check that this is actually K33. So suppose that this vertex belongs to the circle group, then all of the vertices um, adjacent to it belong to the square group. Okay, and we've only got two left, so these have got to go into the circle set. Now let's just quickly check. All the circles aren't adjacent to each other, all the squares aren't adjacent to each other, and all the circles are adjacent to all the other squares. Okay, so we've got KV3, we know how this proof is going to work, so let's write it out nicely. Now it's finally time to write proof. So, proof. The graph, this is just the same graph. What was the first step? So the first step was that we removed uh, the edge BD, right? So the graph has a subgraph, which is the same graph without the edge BD. So I'm just going to quickly copy down the graph. Okay. Now I still need the vertices, but I don't add in the edge between them. And one more. Okay, so just also need to label the vertices F, G, and H. Okay, so this graph has a subgraph that. What was the next step? The next step was to remove B and D via homomorphism, right? So the graph has this subgraph, which is homeomorphic. So I'm going to draw the same graph, but without the two vertices. So just quickly copy the graph. Still have the diagonal. Okay, so I've removed B and D. Just label them. A, we've lost B. C, we've lost D. E, uh, D, um, that's D. E. Okay. E, F, G, and H. Okay. And we know this is K33, but just by staring at it, that might not be so obvious. So I'm just going to redraw this. So, which is isomorphic to. So just going to quickly redraw or draw a K33. But we do need to label them just to show that we actually checked that the graph above is in fact k33. So suppose that this vertex is A, then A is incident on C, F, and H, which means that the other side we've got E and G, and this is k33. So we're done. Okay, so just write the conclusion. Uh, therefore, by Kuratowski's theorem, the graph is not planar um, as required. And we're done with the